A blessed day to you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary. Today is Thursday of the 28th week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Louis Kunzalan SVD. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be always with you. And with your spirit. Woe to you Pharisees, woe to you lawyers. In our gospel reading for today, Jesus continues to attack and to condemn the hypocrisy, the arrogance, and the insincerity of the Pharisees and the scribes or the teachers of the law. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray at all times, go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, to the holy ones who are in Ephesus and faithful in Christ Jesus, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as He chose us in Him before the foundation of the world, to be holy and without blemish before Him. In love, He destined us for adoption to Himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the Beloved. In Christ we have redemption by his blood, the forgiveness of transgressions, in accord with the riches of his grace that he lavished upon us. In all wisdom and insight, he has made known to us the mystery of his will, 
in accord with his favor that he set forth in him as a plan for the fullness of times to sum up all things in Christ in heaven and on earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has made known his salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has made known his salvation. Sing praise to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and melodious song. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. The Lord has made known his salvation. We rise as we honor the Holy Gospel. taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory. Glory to you. The Lord said, Woe to you who build the memorials of the prophets whom your fathers killed. Consequently, you bear witness and you give consent to the deeds of your ancestors. For they killed them and you do the building. Therefore, the wisdom of God said, I will send to them prophets and apostles. Some of them they will kill and persecute in order that this generation might be charged with the blood of all the prophets shed since the foundation of the world, from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah, who died between the altar and the temple building. Yes, I tell you, this generation will be charged with their blood. Woe to you, scholars of the law! You have taken away the key of knowledge. You yourselves did not enter, and you stopped those trying to enter. When Jesus left, the scribes and the Pharisees began to act with hostility toward him and to interrogate him about many things, for they were plotting to catch Jesus at something he might say. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the gospel, the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, o Lord Jesus Christ. More strong words from Jesus against Pharisaic mentality. Stronger words from the Lord against the mentality of the Pharisees. Today the charge is the sin of hypocrisy. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus always hit 
hypocrisy heart. Jesus pronounced many woes against the scribes and the Pharisees, whom he repeatedly called hypocrites. Jesus warned the disciples, Beware of the leaven of the Pharisees, that is hypocrisy. Like leaven, hypocrisy starts small and hypocrisy starts unnoticed. It doesn't seem to be a big deal, but if it is not quickly checked, hypocrisy spreads. What is hypocrisy? In essence, hypocrisy refers to the act of claiming to believe something but acting in a different way. Claiming to believe something but the person acts differently. The word hypocrisy is derived from the Greek term for actor, which literally means one who wears a mask. In other words, a hypocrite is someone who pretends to be what he is not. The Bible calls hypocrisy a sin. There are two forms hypocrisy can take that of professing belief in something and then acting in a manner that is contrary to that belief and that of looking down on others when we ourselves are flawed and mistaken. The prophet Isaiah condemned the hypocrisy of his day. Isaiah said, The Lord says, These people come near to me with their, heart, with their mouth, and they honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. And our Lord Jesus took an equally staunch stand against hypocrisy that he calls sanctimony. What is the meaning of the word sanctimony? Sanctimony means hypocritical holiness. That is why a sanctimonious person is hypocritically a hypocrite. Uh, his holiness is hypocritically pharisaical. And Jesus called the hypocrites wolves in sheep's clothing. They are like whitewashed tombs. They are snakes and brood of vipers. They are blind guides at the same time. My dear brothers and sisters, our Lord addressed another form of hypocrisy in the Sermon on the Mount. When our Lord said, Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye, but you do not pay attention to the plank in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, Brother, let me take the speck out of your eye, when all the time there is a plank in your own eye? You hypocrite, the Lord says, First take the plank out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Our Lord is telling us not to be proud and convinced of our own goodness, that we criticize others from a position of self-righteousness. We should do some introspection and self-evaluation first and correct our own shortcomings and mistakes before we go after the specs in other people. During his earthly ministry, Jesus had many run-ins with the religious leaders of his time, the Pharisees. These men were well-versed in the scriptures. They were zealous about following every letter of the law of Moses. But in adhering to the law, they actively sought loopholes that allowed them to violate the spirit of the law. The Pharisees displayed a lack of understanding, a lack of compassion toward their fellow men. They were often overly demonstrative 
of their so-called spirituality in order to garner praise from other people. That is why our Lord denounced their behavior in no uncertain terms, pointing out that justice, mercy, and faithfulness are more important than pursuing a perfection based on faulty standards. Jesus made it clear that the problem was not with the law of Moses, but the way in which the Pharisees interpreted and implemented the law. Today, the word hypocrite and pharisaical have become synonymous with one another. Hypocrisy is a deadly sin. It destroys the hypocrite. It damages many that are contaminated by hypocrisy. That is why the Lord warns the disciples and He also warns us, Beware of the leaven of the Pharisees. That is hypocrisy. Now, how do we stop the sin of hypocrisy? In my little reflection and in my little research, I realized that there are different reasons that people pretend to be someone that they are not. And so there are different things that can help a person overcome hypocrisy. Number one, repent of our sin. Let us not hide sin in our life. Wrong is wrong. Sin is sin. The Pharisees put much effort in acting righteously, but their hearts were actually full of sin. Number two, stop seeking the praise of other people. Please God alone rather than men. Our only admirer should be God. We must choose godly character over worldly reputation. Number three, practice what we teach. Our Lord said, practice what they preach, but do not follow what they do. In other words, example is better than precept, and example is the best teacher. Number four, judge with righteous judgment. The standard we use for others must be the same standard we should use for ourselves. A hypocrite is one who condemns sin in others while ignoring sin that exists in his own life. He judges others by a harsh standard but he judges himself with a lesser standard. Come to think of it, everybody sins and falls short of the glory of God. And finally, get into the habit of telling and living the truth. Live honestly. Do not impress others and live up to their expectations. Stop giving in to the temptation to have others believe we are something or somebody that we are not. Amen. Let us ask our Lord to help us to be sincere in our actions. Let our response be, Lord, make our hearts true to you. Lord, make our hearts true to you. That in our lives, as members of the people of God, we may fulfill the demands of the gospel by our constant witnessing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make our hearts true to you. That we may avoid doing things for the sake of conformity or appearances. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, make our hearts true to you. That those discouraged by our displeasing manners and behavior may return to worship by our renewed life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make our hearts true to you. That the sick may see the healing hand of God in their trials and difficulties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make our hearts true to you. That those who have departed from this life may be received into eternal glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord make, make our, our hearts, hearts true, true to, you. to you. Let us also include the following persons in our prayers, especially those who are asking for the gift of healing from the Lord. Martin Ontog, Miguel de Guzman, Joanna Shaun Hamero, Jess Palad, Antonio Arpilleda, Manuel Chua Chu, Timothy John Senisa Garcia, Andre Enciso, Isaiah Baliklik, Rosa Cua, Violeta Davis, Rochelle Tarayao, Rolando de Jesus Jr., Priscilla Perfecto, Gabriel de la Cruz, Jocelyn Tan, and Evangeline La Sala. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make our hearts true to you. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness, we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us now give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him you have been pleased to renew all things giving us all a share in his passion. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things 
and to all who obey Him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with all the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and gave you thanks he broke the bread he gave it to the disciples and said Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. Gave the chalice to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Let us again proclaim the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one, by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread all over the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop. Remember your servants, Darlene Madlambayan, Santos Chu C, Thomas Eric Xiao, Brihida Biasaga, Bobby Joan Bourne, and John Lee Canapi, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that they who were united with your Son in a death like His may also be one with Him in His resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy, and welcome them into the light of your face, have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God and Our Lady of Fatima, Saint Joseph, her spouse, the Apostles and Saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us again together pray the Lord's Prayer. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. You said to the apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Greet each other with a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sin of the world. Happy are those invited to receive him. Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment that comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Horatio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use these medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities but deliver us always from all dangers. 
O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Saint Joseph. Saint Raphael the Archangel. San Roque. San Lorenzo Ruiz. San Pedro Calungsod. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Prena Limits. Be seated for a minute. Magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat. We would like to thank a few individuals for their kindness and uh, concern for our seminarians. Maraming salamat po sa mga tulong na ipinapadala ninyo sa amin dito sa Christ the King. In particular, we would like to acknowledge Helen, Helen Lacerna, one of our regular donors. Helen, maraming salamat. And uh, we would like to assure the father of Miguel de Guzman that we are praying for Miguel's full recovery. We include in our list Miguel and Aaron de Guzman. Nagpapasalamat din kami kay Mary Grace Cinco. Mary Grace, maraming salamat. Kay Meg Gonzalez. Meron akong isang hindi mabasang pangalan kasi walang pangalan. Meron din na galing kay Eliza Antonio, kay Zara Larano, one of our regular donors in Christ the King. Zara, maraming salamat. At kay Ann Pawid from La Trinidad Binguet, maraming salamat. We would like also to acknowledge um, the kindness and the generosity of the following. Uh, v. Ann Lincoln, thank you very much, in Singapore. We hope to see you someday here at Christ the King. V. Ann, Arlene Angeles, maraming salamat from Paranaque. And uh, tauspusong pasasalamat, maraming marami pong salamat kay Chuchi Fonasier, Chuchi Delphine and Chuchi Fonasier. Words cannot describe how grateful we are to you for your generosity and kindness. Thank you for keeping the seminarians always in mind and in heart. Maraming salamat, Chuchi. I hope to see you in Christ the King with your husband someday. And we would like to continue to appeal for help for our seminarians. If you are interested to send a seminarian in his studies and in his formation, you may send your financial assistance to the following bank account with Banco de Oro. The account name is Divine Word Mission Seminary Inc. And the account number is 000-220-191-247. Meron din po tayong dalawang GCash numbers, 0967-318-9830. And 0945-743-0935 Sa inyo pong magiging tulong at naging tulong Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat Let us all rise The Lord be with you And with your spirit And may Almighty God bless you The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit Amen The Mass is ended Let us go in peace Thanks be to God